swimming may remind you of hot summer days. In fact, a global heat related research project is coming to Fort Wayne. Meteorologist Nathan Gidley joins us with the details of the study happening this summer. Nathan. Fort Wayne will be one of 14 United States cities along with four international cities participating in an urban heat island mapping project. Now an urban heat island is when select areas in a city are warmer than surrounding rural areas due to the replacement of natural land cover with pavement, buildings and other surfaces that retain heat. Now the plan is to pick the driest, hottest and sunniest day of the summer. Volunteers will then drive specific routes in the city of Fort Wayne in the morning, afternoon and evening, collecting temperature and humidity data. The goal of the project is to map which parts of Fort Wayne are the hottest. Then this data will be used to find solutions that help provide cooling relief to these areas. I think it's very exciting that, that all folks involved have taken an interest in recognizing that there is an urban heat island and by, by choosing to map this at a really high level, high resolution, it's really exciting to think of the impacts that can, that can happen with this data. You know, we can make changes and improve and reduce the urban heat island by adding more green spaces, more tree cover, um, you know, reducing pavement uh, that, that's going to absorb heat, things like that. So I think it's a, it's a very positive thing and exciting thing for Fort Wayne. Now, Brown adds that while the summer is not warming significantly in our area, there has been a notable increase in warm nights. The reason this project exists is because heat is the number one weather related killer over the past 30 years. Now, we'll keep you updated on the date of this study and the results when they are released. To learn much more, including which other cities are involved, visit this story on Wayne.com. Meteorologist Nathan Gidley, Wayne 15 News.